before this video starts, I just want to tell you that it's like a very long video of just like me talking and kind of like ranting and just like going through my thoughts the whole time. I'm basically just like talking the entire video. So if you want to see what I've been going through, then keep watching, but it's gonna, it's a lot of talking for like 20 minutes straight. Enjoy it! Good morning. It is, what day is it? December 16th, 9.15 a.m. I decided that I should start saying the date in like whatever because these are like my dear future me's. They're my little like video diaries. But anyway, right now I'm just chilling in bed. It's, I think I just said this, it's 9.15 a.m. I've been awake since six, so I've been like in bed um i'm not allowed i'm i'm quarantining right now i'm self quarantining because my stepmom has covid and i don't know if that's like something i should be talking like i feel like youtubers i'm not like a youtuber or whatever but like i feel like no one really talks about like their family having covid and shit or like them even having covid like out of the youtubers i watch or like influencers not saying I'm an influencer, I just don't think that it's, like, talked about on social media. But, yeah. I got tested yesterday, I don't find out till tomorrow. My dad got tested yesterday, and he came back negative. Um, yeah. But, I'm honestly not tripping too hard. I'm praying for the best, but I'm also not, like, like, if I have it. Hopefully I'm okay. I hope my family's okay, but like there are far worse people who have COVID in far worse situations and I can like the holidays are stressful anyway. I didn't necessarily need to be like with my family. Like I've been seeing my family like I don't know. I'm not tripping too bad. My birthday's in like four days and I'm not even tripping. My boyfriend who I haven't seen in like I think a little over a month is coming home this week just for a week. Might not get to see him, which is going to be the worst thing for me. Um, but overall, I'm like not tripping, tripping. I'm praying I don't have it though, but we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I, I, I have a lot to do today and that's kind of why I wanted to film like but I feel like I'm also not gonna, like... I mean, I can't leave, obviously. But... I have, like, jewelry shit to do. I have a lot of orders to make and a lot of gifts to make for my family and friends for Christmas. Yeah. Um... I also wanted to shoot... I wanted to, like, have a little photo shoot with my friends today because yesterday I bought this camera for my friend Elias. Um, and I'm so excited. It's like a little film camera. Like, looks really simple and, like, probably is gonna be, like, equivalent to a disposable, I'm assuming. I don't know. I, I put film in it. I loaded it up. I don't- I'm not very, like, camera savvy, but I somewhat am, so. I wanted to do that, but I'm not gonna be able to. Yeah, that's a little, like, morning update. I did. I'm so fucking excited because I went to Barnes and Noble um, like probably three weeks ago and I picked out a bunch of books and I was so excited to like get them all and I got it to the thing and it was like a hundred dollars worth of books. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> so I was like, Dad, can can I just buy these books and then you give them to me for Christmas? He's like, yeah, sure. So those got wrapped, and I'm so excited to open them. I got so many good books. For some reason, like, I'm not a reader. I'm not, like, a little student, edu connoisseur. Oh, what the fuck? I, but I've been so into reading, it makes me so happy. I just, like, get sucked in if it's a good book, and, like, it really calms my mood. I find that I'm a lot less stressed. Uh, when I just, like, indulge in a book. So, yeah. I'm 
gonna go read so I can finish this book. My goal is to finish this book by Christmas so I can start my new books by Chris on Christmas. So. Oh, the book is literally propping this camera up right now. Okay, bye. Hello, it is like 1 o'clock, right? it's 1.30 right now. Um, I'm still in the same spot, I'm in bed. I've just been like doing shit in bed. And I FaceTimed my friend Rose for like a long time. And now it's already 1.30. And I'm eating oatmeal because my family like just did not have any food. And then now everyone like is quarantining. So we have like no food. So tip, keep stocked up no matter what. Hello, good morning. It's like 9.30 right now. Um, it's also like four days later after, maybe three days, I don't really know. After I filmed that last clip, um, it's Friday and I'm still in quarantine. My results came back negative, but I still have to like quarantine and I'm taking another test, hopefully on Monday, which will determine some shit, I don't really know. Monday's also my birthday. I'm definitely not gonna really be able to do anything for my birthday, but I would like to like possibly, I don't know, even if I like can leave my house and like go drive by myself, I'd be happy. Um, but I finished first semester of college, so yeesh. Um, also on the day that I like, the intro clip, whatever, I literally didn't get anything done. I think I laid in bed all day and some other shit has just been going down these past few days that I just had like not a good week. It's all, it's all predicted in the stars right now. Like literally the stars are like, aligned for me having a shitty week and on december 21st which is my birthday everything is supposed to be better it's supposed to be like the rebirth i think all the planets are like aligned or something don't know like that much about it i just know that it's supposed to bring good shit and i'm hoping that by monday december 21st my week gets a lot better and stuff becomes easier because it has been very rough this past three or four days. I haven't showered in a while, so I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna try to put on clothes today, like actually get ready, um, because I've been in pajamas for like three days. And I'm gonna yeah, I don't exactly know what I'm gonna do today. Obviously, I can't do a lot, but I'm gonna try to be productive, um, and not get too down on myself. This is what is keeping me somewhat calm this morning. It is so nice. Okay, right now I have a face mask on and a hair mask, and the face mask I use is this. No idea. Asari? I don't know. It's very good though. It makes my skin very soft and it does clear up my breakouts. So this was like a very like sponsored product like I feel like a year ago or like half a year ago like everyone all the youtubers were like yes this actually fire and then my hair mask I just put coconut oil and cinnamon <laughs> and yeah I'm gonna take a shower in like 30 minutes. Okay, this is my fit today. Yeah, I have this um, cardigan top thing from Depop. And then these cargo pants from my Madres. Hella pockets and they're like more comfy than jeans, so. I thought that'd be a good plan. Um, I do feel better after my shower, but I feel like I'm gonna end up in sweatpants soon. And it's such a beautiful day and I wanna go outside so bad and like go do stuff. <laughs> it's okay. Y'all are currently resting on some unsturdy ass 
boxes and I am slouching and this is interesting and I don't know if I'm in focus. Am I? Hmm. Basically, it's about three o'clock I would say and I made a shirt like this. Whoa, this is inside out. It basically is a little tank that says save mama earth in yarn. I like embroidered it, whatever. And I want to do something similar on this Kronach because it's a really vibrant grain and I feel like it just looks weird if you wear it and it like has nothing on it. I don't know. So I kind of want to embroider something. You can't even see me because the lighting is so like I'm like in between two like bright parts. Oh, the glow. And it's just way too bright. But I'm gonna embroider something green. I mean something onto this green crewneck. Um, honestly, I really just freehand this stuff. Like, I drew a circle and now I'm just gonna like go around like all the, like a spiral and then I'm gonna do some petals and then maybe some words, but like I, there's really no method. Like I just kind of go for it. There's no supplies. I don't think anyone really cares, but I have like such a huge bag of friendship string and it's all like tangled. And there's my sewing shit in that little box. I'm sitting here editing this video, but I thought I'd update you on this. Um, I've only done the middle and a petal, and this is just gonna be like a long like process. I'm just gonna do it when I don't really have an activity going on, because I'm not in a rush to wear this, you know? So I'm just gonna do it as time goes. But this is what I got so far. The next day! Look at how freaking amazing the setup is. I just did yoga with all my little plants. Um, because I thought, like, just watering them and, like, watching them grow, or, like, them growing and not watching them grow would, like, help me with my practice. I don't know. My journal for any arising thoughts. I had quite a few today. My beats for music. Just amazing. So, I, I've talked about my journal quite a bit, I feel like, in these videos, just because, like, that I've spit or like whatever crap um just because it's been like very important to me keeping a journal I've always kept a journal but in the past since the beginning of October I write every single day this is my second journal since October my first one was half this size um because I for this one I took two and like glued them together um but I filled up like that many pages in October, November, and this started December 2nd, and I'm already like a decent amount of the way in, and that's just because I've been writing so much. Like, look at all these pages that are filled. I've been writing so much because of this quarantine. I've just like been alone um, and writing out all my feelings. I also just try to write every single morning. Um, but in the past like three days, I've been writing like all throughout the day. I don't know, I love my journal, I love journaling. Something, I literally started crying like two days ago because my old journal, I was like reflecting, looking back, like going back to my intentions and like manifestations, whatever that I made and just like reviewing them, seeing if any, like reflecting upon them. And my, I guess like, at some point in the day, my journal got stuck behind my bed, like in between my bed frame and my mattress. And then I accidentally spilled my like hydro flask all over my bed and it like dripped behind there. And I didn't even realize my entire journal was sopping wet. And some of the pages, like completely all the ink and like entries just completely came off. 
and I sat there for a straight hour blow drying every single page and I was crying I was so upset because it was just like so much growth like a a like log of so much growth in just like the course of two months <sighs> yeah I don't know I've been alone for like a long time not even just like in this quarantine but my friends like all went off to college most of them and I stayed here with like a few other friends and did online school but like for a lot of the time I was just like alone um, I didn't really hang out with my friends all that much and my boyfriend was here but he left but I was alone for a long time so I was like journaling it up and I just like hope it continues I think it will I've, I've grown to love it so much I've just developed such good habits around journaling but I think it's gonna be, I think I found my coping mechanism. I always knew like writing it out helped me, but like I never, I was always just so impatient. And that's why I do video diaries, but I found that I haven't really been doing those lately just because I like love having like a collection right here. I mean, that's how this these like YouTube videos stemmed from me just like ranting to myself and to my computer because I didn't want to like write it all out. but. I don't know, maybe writing is my, talking's also my therapy, to be honest. Like, talking without someone, like, interrupting. So, yeah. Maybe I'll start a blog, though, instead of these videos. Just kidding, I love, like, making videos. Okay. I, this is, like, just a talking video, and I'm sorry. Like, I haven't really been filming me doing cool shit. Oh, you're such a kitty.